one of the quarries in North Derbyshire, testing out our Chasing M2, which is an underwater ROV that we've kindly been lent on trial. And we came across the Chasing M2 while researching all weather aerial drones for our drone team, our existing drone capability. And then a few Googles later, we ended up looking at an underwater ROV. And we thought, hang on, that might be useful for us sometimes, because sadly, some people we're looking for can end up uh, being located under the water. Statistically, a lot of missing people who are found uh, deceased uh, are found within bodies of water. So having a capability to search under that water is something of interest to us. We already have a edge search capability, so we have people trained to wade and use rafts. So being able to look below the surface is certainly something of interest to us. So we thought, well, let's take them up on this trial and let's give it a little go. So we've been here tonight testing it out, trying to get to grips with the controls. Not the easiest uh, beast to first get used to using, uh, but some of the skills from the the uh, aerial drones are certainly transferable. We're here at another Derbyshire quarry for the second test of the Chasing M2. The message we really want to give to all our team members is that we will test out any bit of kit or any practice if we think there's a chance it's going to improve our operations. So we'll try anything. If it doesn't work, that's not the end of the world. Um, we'll learn from it. If it does work, we'll take it forward and we'll use it to achieve our charitable objective of saving lives from rather remote places more efficiently and more safely. We'd like to thank Steve Rains and his team at Alpha Geo down in Oxfordshire for giving us the chance to test out this uh, incredible bit of kit. 